Hi, I'm Captain Cinema. Ever since the launch of Trash TV, we've all wanted to see the same thing. A clip show. This is a special edition of one of my first video reviews. Re-released with the George Lucas treatment. I'll explain at the end. Uh, this review was actually requested me by a Matt Piercy of Freaky World of Horror. All I can say to that one would be... God damn you, Matt. Okay, um... I don't know how I'm supposed to approach this review. Uh, seriously, this is really uncomfortable for me to watch. Fight for Your Life is one of the most notorious video nasties. Well, why? I'll tell you what, I will tell you all about this movie, but I'll leave out a key detail, then reveal it at the end. Fight for Your Life is about a group of escaped convicts who take refuge in a house of a religious family while being pursued by the cops, and the family is in the grips of a tragedy as the oldest son died in a car accident. The cons are cruel, insane, establishing a blend of physical and psychological torture and rape. Will the family fight back, or will the cons get their way, leave a trail of bodies in their wake? Will the by-the-book cop break his own morals to do what's right? There is a nice twist towards the end, and that made it more enjoyable. Actually, that's probably one of the best parts of the movie. The reason this movie is a video nasty is because of the strong, and I mean strong, racial insensitivity. Uh, aside from the violence, which includes the bludgeoning of a small child with a rock, racial insensitivity aside, the movie actually moves along really well and establishes a well-crafted character arc. Even showing the, you know, showcasing the actors, William Sanderson can be a great actor. Yeah, the kindly sheriff from True Blood is the lead con. And Robert Judd as the preacher is amazing, trying to hold his family together. I personally love the grandmother, who kind of reminded me of the grandma from Clump, you know, the grandma from the Clumps. I just kind of half expected her to say that she was going to throw a knife between the crack of his ass. And if you watch the movie, it was made for shock value, so it actually pulls it off. And if you can handle it, check it out. If not, I'd say skip it. That's just my opinion. Wow, I looked so young back then. I rewatched this movie since and learned that the movie was marketed for two different demographics, including two different titles, Fight for Your Life and Stayin' Alive. The second viewing made me appreciate the acting even more. You hated Sanderson's character, you hated the cons, but that's what makes it so much better. They were bad guys, you're supposed to despise them. This way you can root for the family, and I stand behind what I said earlier. It's not for the faint of heart. That's just my opinion.